to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 16th series of uh, Principles of uh, Drug Discovery. Uh, let us see assay development for heat identification in this video. In the previous video, we have seen uh, how to synthesize the larger set of uh, data compounds, uh, lead compounds uh, with combinatorial chemistry. If you want to uh, know whether the compounds are active, then you have to develop an assay for heat identification. That is most important. What is assay development? Assay development for heat identification involves designing and optimization uh, using a biological or chemical test to identify the compounds or molecules that show activity against a specific target. So, uh, you will have to design a assay or select a assay such that uh, the compounds uh, they get, uh, you check the activity and decide which compounds are active and which compounds are inactive. So, for that the development of assay is very important in case of uh, a drug discovery. So, you can see from this uh, diagram, you have to give an input, you have to test the different uh, lead compounds then you have to get the output, then you, you should confirm the uh, effective molecules or failure compounds. Let us see the steps in assay development. First, you have to define the assay's objective and its target. So, the first step in assay development is to clearly define the purpose of the assay and specific biological target it will be tested for. This will help guide uh, the design of the assay and ensure that it is able to effectively identify the hits against the specified target. Let us see the steps in assay development. Uh, first, uh, selecting the appropriate assay format is most important. And this will depend on the specific biological target and the type of activity that the assay is designed to detect. There are many different types of assays that can be used for heat identification, including uh, cell-based assays, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, that is ELISA, reporter gene assays, and so on. The next step in uh, assay development is optimization of the assay conditions. That is, once the assay format has been selected, the next step is to optimize the assay conditions to ensure that it is able and reliably identify the hits. This uh, may involve adjusting the concentration of the test compounds, the incubation time and other variables to optimize the assay sensitivity and specificity. The next is, uh, suppose you, you can have uh, different incubation times that is day 1, day 2, day 3 like that and the drug concentration may vary. So, for, for every hit, you have to change these uh, parameters and it should be, that is here the concentration is changed, here the days are changed. So, you have to uh, uh, check the different parameters and then take a decision of these assays. Validation of the assay. Before the assay can be used for hit identification, it must be validated to ensure that uh, it is able to accurately and consistently detect the hits against the specified target. This uh, typically involves testing the assay using uh, a known set of positive and negative compounds and comparing the results of known standards. If you keep uh, blank, uh, negative control, positive control like that, you may get the accuracy whether the selected uh, hit is working or not. So, it, uh, assay development for heat identification is a very crucial step in the drug discovery process. It involves creating and optimizing a robust and, re and a reliable assay, often a biochemical or cell based assay to screen large number of compounds for potential hits which are molecules that show promising activity against the biological target of interest. So, the target selection is most important. Here, clearly define the biological target you want to study and identify its role in the specific disease or biological process you aim to address. The target could be an enzyme, a receptor, a ion channel or any other biomolecule associated with the disease.
assay type selection choose an appropriate uh, type of assay and the nature of the target and the available resources the common assay types include uh, biochemical assays such as enzyme activity assays for example alpha glucosidase inhibitory assay alpha amylase inhibitory activity assay like that then cell based assays example measuring the cell viability for example you may use a mtt assay or bio physical assays such as surface plasmason resonance then assay optimization you have to optimize the assay conditions to ensure it is sensitive specific and reproducible so this involves determining the optimal concentration of the reagent that is at what concentration it is working at the incubation time at what time it is working at uh, how much time it works that means how much uh, onset it takes uh, what time it takes to work then the uh, temperature condition then only you can know the stability of the uh, compound then ph conditions and other variables that affect the assay performance then uh, you have to keep a positive and a negative controls include a positive and a negative controls to validate the assay's performance positive controls are compounds which are known to interact with the target while negative controls are compounds which do not interact with the target so this step ensures the assay is working as expected then the compound library assembled a diverse compound library for screening this library may contain the natural compounds synthetic molecules or approved drugs that could serve as potential starting points for the drug development then high throughput screening perform a primary screening of the compound library using optimized assay high throughput screening allows you to rapidly screen a large number of compounds and identify hits uh, that show activity against the specified target so hit confirmation and validation after the primary screening the selected compounds that show promising activity are called hits and retest them to confirm their activity you employ secondary assays such as dose response curves or counter screens to validate the hits and eliminate the false positives hit prioritization prioritize the confirmed hits based on their potency selectivity and other relevant properties this will help you to identify the most promising compounds for further optimization structure activity relationship studies investigate the structure activity relationship of hit compounds to understand which molecular features contribute to their activity this information will guide the medicinal chemistry uh, efforts during lead optimization so lead optimization already a video is released you have to optimize the functional groups to improve the pharmacokinetic or pharmacodynamic properties is called lead optimization hit expansion and characterization conduct additional studies to characterize the hits and gain a deeper understanding of their mechanism of action and potential therapeutic applications so in a nutshell you have you are design uh, designing the assay is very very crucial uh, when you want to screen large number of compounds to confirm the hits and they uh, proceed in the next stages of uh, drug discovery to give a uh, successful lead compound so assay development is the first step in hit to lead development so it's a very short information of uh, assay development for hit identification i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button subscribe to pharma topics channel thank you for giving encouragement to us uh, thank you for listening to this video